Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Pain Wing. In today's video, I'm going to continue on with my sketchbook challenge. I'm going to start off by filling in my sketchbook with a bunch of different eyes. I'm trying to make sure I get some different shapes and angles of eyes. I'm not too worried of how these look, they're just practice for the final piece I'll be completing. For these initial sketches, I'm using a hard pencil, and I'm trying not to use too much pressure. If you apply too much pressure, it can cause little indents in the paper. I'm going to add some light scribbly lines for some eyebrows. So after filling this page with some light sketches, I'll go back in with a softer, darker pencil. And with that darker pencil, I'll redefine some of the lines. I like using this method instead of erasing. Instead of erasing lines, you instead use the old ones as value and just add darker lines on top. We've got some fluffier eyebrows here. I'm just using some quicker marks to create those. Alright, now I'm going back in with that softer, darker pencil. Alright, and now that I got some practice in, I'm going to be moving on to creating a sketch on some nicer watercolor paper. For the painting, I'll be creating a pair of eyes instead of just one. I'm 
I'm going to go mostly monochromatic in the color choices, just using blues, browns, and gray. I think I want to create kind of a fun abstract piece too. For this piece, I'll be adding layers of splotchy paint. I'm going to start with my light values first and then slowly build it up. So now I'm going to add some blues. And then I'll add some marks on the side of the face. Now that layer is dried, I'm going to go back in and add some details. For the details, I'll be using a wet on dry technique. Alright, here's the final results on this painting. I think it turned out pretty okay. I actually kind of do one more painting though. For this next painting, I'll be using similar techniques to get that illustrative graphic look, but this time I'll be using a different reference photo. I'm also going to be including a nose on this one. I'm going to be changing up the color palette this time. Instead of cool blues, I'm using a warm peachy pink color. I'm going to add some asymmetry by putting some splotches over here. And I'm going to start painting in the eyes using some bluish green colors. I'm switching to using smaller brushes on a wet on dry technique.
and I'm just about done with this first painting. Now that I'm done with that painting, let's look at all the pieces together. So I started out with these sketches, and then painted my first set of eyes, and then here's the final eyes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any suggestions for future prompts, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye now.